Hi, this is Alan Gleason for ADSR and welcome to part two of Dynamic Everything. Okay, so let's carry on. You know, the pad is a bit dry there. Let's see if we can we'll come back over to the kick drum. I'm just going to use another instance of the envelope follower. I'm just going to duplicate that there. And this time I'm going to assign it to um, the send C on this track. So send C has been sent over here to a return track and it just has a delay, simple delay on it there. And a utility given a bit of volume. I'm just offsetting it there with the delay control on the envelope follower gives it a bit more swing and doesn't make everything synchronized to the same groove Okay, so that's we're building up our dynamic everything concept here. Next, let's have a look at the bass. Over on the return channel here, I've got a spring reverb set up. Now, this you might have this might look a bit unfamiliar to you. This is the the new look of the convolution reverb pro device. Again, another Max for Live essential device. So, from what I can tell, it 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 uh functions pretty much the same maybe there's been some enhancements under the hood and obviously the graphic user interface has changed but most of the data controls that were there before are, are here again so um, for this we're going to use let me see what we'll use to send let's try the hi-hat again so again we'll duplicate this just kind of reset it a bit it's down overload the mix with various things happening at the same time let's put an envelope follower on the overall um, drum mix so these two envelope followers are on the hi-hat one but let's put one on the overall mix so i'll put it outside of the drum rack and let's assign that to the return from the pad sometimes the timing of this is a bit off let's have a look at using the overall groove of the drums and we'll map that to the volume here so that we get more of a a kind of glitchy delay popping in and out hi-hat track I have an arpeggiator so if you just go in this is the way that the hi-hat the hi pattern that we have playing if I put a an arpeggiator on there set to one thirty second can hear what's happening there so obviously if it's on all the time it's it's a bit too much and it, and it can get a bit annoying so we can use one of the other sounds and assign that to 
control what we have going on here. So let me see what's Okay, so what we can do is we can set up a dummy return. So for my pad, whenever my pad plays, it's going to be sent over here to this return channel here. So we can turn this down. We don't necessarily need to hear that because all I've got on it is the envelope follower. I've got no effect on there. So we don't need to actually listen to the return. We just want to use the signal that's been sent into it to control something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign this to control the hi-hat groove. So if you come over here, I'll assign it to this macro here. First of all, I'll, I'll map that to that. And then I'll get Do that there. So obviously what's happening here is, is going to be happening qu quite dynamic. So we have this channel, the track volume is, is has dynamic control over it. So you can see the spike that we have there. So if you come over to our hi-hat track, I had to do a similar thing it's kind of a, I've done it already but I had to map this make sure I map this so that it's not happening too much so I'll, I'll set the minimum to 64 and then I'll set the actual maximum to 0 64 the value of 64 will make the arpeggiator turn on I'm just going to tweak this to get it coming on a bit more the trails obviously it's not happening all the time because it's getting dynamic control from this so it only comes in every now and then so let's put it all together and just hear all the different parts playing together so what's an interesting side effect of this is that because we have different things now interacting with each other we can also have a dynamic arrangement as a result of this but because each of the kick the snare and the hi-hat parts are controlling other elements of what we have going on in your arrangement for a time say you might mute the snare so because the snare is controlling the volume of the pad anytime the snare is not playing the pad is not going to be playing so i just put one of those back in Alan for ADSR and I'll catch you again next time.